So today we've got a different kind of video. We're going to be cleaning my drum cymbals. As some of you know, I'm a musician beyond just reviewing music. I also write and record and play a bunch of instruments like guitar, bass, piano, drums, all kinds of stuff. But I've been playing drums since I was a kid and um, some of the stuff I have is still from my original drum set. Like this camper cymbal dates back to about 1997, so it's, it's pretty old. But um, I've never cleaned my cymbals before and so I wanted to give it a try. And um, this thing is just ancient. You can tell it's just, it's just dirty. It's over the years, you know, dust gets in there and, you know, some blood probably somewhere on there too, but they just get old after a while. So figured I would give it a try. And I've read a lot of different reviews about what to clean things with, uh, or what cleaner to use rather. And I've come across a few things and I've never been really happy with what I've read about on review. So I thought I would just give it, my, give it a try myself with something that I found. Um, you know, if this symbol does get a little bit damaged from this, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. It's okay. So what I've got here are some detail brushes. So we can use that. Some, you know, a larger one here. And gloves, because I've never used this stuff before. But this is just called Barkeeper's Friend. But, um, yeah, it says used for stainless steel, porcelain, ceramic, copper, brass, fiberglass, corian, whatever that is, chrome, Aluminium or aluminum, but um, yeah, Barkeeper's Friend, I thought I'd give it a try. It's been around since 1882, so it can't be that bad, but um, so that's what we're going to do. i got my space set up here on this box, so I'm not damaging anything on my floor, and uh, we're going to start figuring out how to use this stuff. It was said to wet the surface a little bit, so I um, just got some water on there with the brush, just so it's a little damp, and now I'm going to sprinkle the stuff on here. I have no idea how much to use. <laughs> it's completely an experiment. I've never done this before. And um, let's get some more water on here and just start going for it. Let's see what happens here. So, first run through here, just to clean this little piece off, that's definitely shinier. Look at that. Wow. Gotta admit, that actually looks really good. It took a whole bunch of stuff off. The brush works really well. It's definitely shinier. I mean, if we compare that to that, it's like night and day. So, let's just uh, keep up with it. Gotta put the phone back down. All right, so I just finished brushing, and holy moly, look at that difference. So, left side there is, um, you know, still dirty. It's got the, what's it called? <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Barkeeper's friend on the left side. And this right side, I have uh, completely cleaned and wiped off. And it didn't take off the logo too much, which is nice. But, yeah, so we keep going and uh, see how it looks.
there we go. Not sure what that line is going down the middle there. And it's definitely, it's gonna take a little time to dry. Um, so I got this microfiber. I can use to dry it off a little bit faster. But man, compared to before, it looks almost like a brand new symbol. Cool. All right, here's symbol number two. So symbol number one is uh, sitting there drying up a little bit. Number two definitely has a lot of damage and discoloration around the bell. Overall, it's not too bad, but it's definitely, it's definitely dirty. So just wipe this one, or I just uh, brushed this one. I tried to avoid the logos a lot on this one. I didn't want to rip off the logos too much, so. Wow. <laughs> Look at all that stuff that came off. Look at that difference. I think those scratches, are they might be from the brush that I used, but I mean, that's okay. These things are old, and I'm not too worried about it. Wow. I did not expect these to shine up this much. Good Lord. The bell, not so much. It didn't want to clean up that much. off some of the logo that's okay holy moly it's like a mirror wow and just like that they are cleaned up I mean look you can see me <laughs> I haven't seen this thing that clean, maybe even ever. I bought this from a friend of mine when I was about 13. Paid 50 bucks for it, which was a fortune at that time. Still is a good amount of money, but um, man, that is really cool. 
Yeah, I took the logo off a little bit, but that's okay. I did the backs of them too. So I'm just looking to let them, uh, let them air dry for a little bit after I wipe them down pretty good. But, man, they look better in person. Um, I almost feel like the iPhone's too good for this thing, but wow. Yeah, this Sabian was one of the first cymbals I got that I never broke. Um, I'm a pretty heavy player, and I've broken a lot of cymbals in my time, but this one I have never cracked. I've had it for a long time now. And this is actually the bottom of a hi-hat <laughs> that I turned into an actual, you know, sort of crash cymbal at one point in my life, and it's worked fine ever since. You know, it's, it does the job. Because um, drums are expensive, so it's hard to go out and buy cymbals and do stuff. But, uh... I also don't get to play that much anyway, because I live in an apartment, so, you know, this is just kind of, I have my drum set set up, so this is just nice to be able to see them clean and shiny and looking good. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and uh, see you next time. All right, so where I am now is the space that I keep my drums in right now, and it's a little bit crowded because um, I'm currently having to move a bunch of stuff around for uh, renovations that are happening in this place pretty soon. It's a little cramped where I am right now, but... Um, Look at the shine of this thing. You can see the poster through it. And here's the other one. But let's see on this. I'm using a rubber tip one because I got my pads on here. Because like I said, I live in an apartment, so I can't play too loud. Sounds like a symbol. Sounds like a symbol. I read a lot that if you use certain cleaners, it'll take away the uh, dramatic kind of sound and ringing of a symbol. Um, and this stuff seems to work pretty well, so, so far, I recommend it. You know, your symbol might be different from mine, but, um, yeah, pretty impressed.